It's easy to be excited about the really big things on the boat and to think they are the things that make the biggest difference. But sometimes there are very small things that can make a pretty big difference to life on board. Hi, I'm Nika Waters and welcome to the Boat Galley Podcast. Today I'm sharing four of my favorite small things that I think all together would fit into a shoebox and they make life on board so much better. Today's episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by Lunatech, makers of the hydration spray bottle, odor-free dishcloth, and self-cleaning washcloth. Lunatech offers practical gear designed to save water and reduce waste. A water bottle that doubles as a garden hose? A dishcloth that doesn't get stinky? Yes, please! Visit lunatechgear.com to learn more. Use code BOATGALLEY, that's B-O-A-T-G-A-L-L-E-Y, to save 10% on everything. Lunatech, innovative gear for your outdoor adventures. Well, certainly, an odor-free dishcloth and a self-cleaning washcloth and even that hydration spray bottle, those definitely would qualify as small things that would make a big difference to life on board. The ones that I'm talking about today aren't those, but who knows? Those might be in my list pretty soon. The first thing that I've got to tell you about are our non-slip mats. We bought these as a roll at the local hardware store and they make life so much better aboard. We cut them into plate-sized pieces to stack between dishes. We have a couple of pieces sitting underneath plants so they don't go sliding. We've got pieces underneath cutting boards. I've got a non-slip mat that I cut to be the right size underneath the foot pedal on the sewing machine. These non-slip mats, buy a roll of them because you just cut them to the right size, they make life so much better. We went to dinner the other night on a friend's boat and Sharon had actually cut hers into placemat size ones. And so she used them as her placemats. Perfect idea. Those plates are not going to slip around on the table at all. A second thing that we have is a Kindle. We actually have two of these aboard. I use mine all the time. Jeremy occasionally uses his, but having the second one really came in big handy recently when our kids visited and B had not brought along their Kindle. We can easily go into our Amazon account to download already purchased books, and that's what we did when B was here. And I do love checking books out of the library because I can do that even in remote anchorages. It's often the last thing that I do right before we leave on a passage. Oops, I need a new book. Cool. Let me slide through, see what I can get, grab it. It goes right into the Kindle, and there I have it, even if I'm miles from the nearest town. We also don't have a whole lot of bookshelf space on board for the number of books that I can tear through in a week. Having an e-reader, a Kindle for us, means I can read old favorites or discover new authors to my heart's content. So if you have some favorites you want to tell me about, let me know. The next thing that is small and makes life so much better are a couple of quart-sized Nalgene bottles. These actually are a new addition to life on board. These bottles mean that we've got a fighting chance of staying hydrated. Before we decided we were gonna get these, because we thought they were actually maybe a little bit too big, they're not, I promise you. We were drinking from regular size glasses, not remembering to refill them. We were washing them over and over and over again. We've got two of them, they're different colors, and we each have a bottle of our own to drink from. They only need to be washed occasionally because all we're drinking from them is water. And we're definitely getting more water in each day since these came aboard. I wind up refilling mine about three times a day and I was definitely not drinking that much before. And the last thing for today's podcast that would fit into a shoebox, they are our Turkish towels from Marmara Imports. And if you listen to the ad, and yes, they're one of the podcast sponsors, but we reached out to them to be a sponsor because we love their towels. They are soft, they are absorbent, they are luxurious, they're beautiful. They dry fast, they take up almost no room. They are really perfect for life aboard. We have four of them in different colors, meaning we can use them as saltwater towels, after shower towels and keep it all straight. They take up so little space aboard that having four of them is not a challenge in terms of stowage. They dry so fast, they're far less likely to mildew because they dry before that can happen. One of the things we love is when we take our shower at night, we take a shower generally around five in the afternoon 
hang the towels up to dry. And by the time we bring them in before we go to bed, because we don't want to listen to them whacking on the on the rigging or on the lifelines, and also squalls come at night, meaning they get wet again, we take them in and most of the time they're dry, which is fantastic. My friend Bian actually uses hers as a scarf when she's in the occasional colder climate. So it's not just a towel, it's really everything. So there you have it, four fairly small things that wouldn't make our list when we were thinking about things that we thought were essential on board before we left. Can't imagine life without them now. Those non-slip mats, the Kindle, Nalgene bottles, and the Marmara Imports towels. I can't wait to share an anchorage with you, and you can tell me something that's small that has made a huge difference in your life on board, because I always get good ideas from other cruisers and boaters. Thank you so much for listening to the Boat Galley podcast. We love hearing from our listeners. There's actually a link to my email and Carolyn's in the show notes. We love it when you share us with your friends. We love it when you don't forget to subscribe. Because remember, the Boat Galley is all about making boat life better, and the podcast hopefully has some ideas that will help you do just that. Have the most spectacular weekend.